Welcome back to Lacey's Fun Time. Um, I'm not Lacey's Leopard today because it's almost Halloween. So, I wanted to switch my mascot to the Creature of Nightmares temporarily. Like, um, until October is over. Just because, I don't know, I just wanted to. And also, I didn't feel like climbing on top of my bed to grab Lacey the Leopard. <laughs> but, as you had by the title, I got the new Halloween beanie build. Okay, they're in this box. I put some paper on it to cover up my address because I don't want anyone to see my address. And I think I'm the first person on YouTube to get these, so yeah. I got schizoids. <laughs> and I am so excited because a beanie boo that might end up being one of my favorites is in here. If <laughs> the arg the green things on um, the floor on here keeps moving around, so sorry about that. The first thing do I see poking out of here is Rowan. He is this super cute pirate dog. He looks a little bit like Zuzu and his ears are flopping forward a little bit. His face is a little bit smushed from being in the box with the other Beanie Boos for a while, but that's fine. I kind of fixed it up. I'm just going to move his Ears a bit. Oh, they're supposed to go forward. There's some to his hat. So he's a super cute tan dog. Um, he is not a tie silk. It doesn't say tie silk on his tag, but he feels like one. He has a really cute mm, black pirate hat with a white skull and crossbones on it, some yellow edges, and also um some red on it with two little red things hanging there. He has a realistic black nose and gold glittery eyes. And his snout and the bottoms of his paws are so soft. When Beanie Boos are brand new, I'm not sure if this is something they just recently started doing or if I had never been able to get Beanie Boos new enough before this but their snouts and bottoms of their paws are so soft. And let's see his tag. It says Rowan. I travel the world and go on a trip, but I'm a little pirate without a ship. I hunt for treasure in my backyard. Most of it is junk that I discard. And his birthday is November 30th. And he is so cute. When I first saw him, I thought he looked a little like Zuzu, but he actually does not. I'm gonna grab Zuzu real quick. Here they are compared to each other. They look really different. Um, I think Zuzu is a Rhodesian ridge Ridgeback and I think Rowan is just kind of a mutt. He could be a specific dog if the comments are on and you think there's a type of dog that he might be, comment that because i like to see what you think. And yeah. And also, Zuzu is more of a goldeny orange 
and a completely different fur color and with no airbrushing. And the next one is... And then the spider is so cute. And there hasn't been a new spider for a while. And the only thing I don't like about Ingram is that he only has six legs instead of eight like a real spider does. But it's fine. And it's still really cute. He has this really fluffy body that's orange with black kind of tiger stripes and his legs are the same except the um orange is darker and they're not fluffy. His head is the really soft snout fabric that Ty uses and he has orange eyes with some gold sparkles in them. I have never seen Ty do this before, like, mm, orange eyes with gold sparkles, and he's the first spider to have fangs. And Ingram and Rowan are original names, which I love. His tag says, Ingram, if I crawl onto your bed, into your bed, on your pillow by your head, it will cause you such a fright that it keeps you up all night. My birthday is September 20th, and I just love his little poem, because instead of it just being, like, really cute, it's just about him scaring you and making you not able to sleep. <laughs> he actually looks a little like a uh, Beanie Baby spider that I have. Um, I can't find him right now. Okay, I found the Beanie Baby one spinner. I always forget how small it is. And, yeah. It's one of the older Beanie Babies. Not one of the newer ones. I don't think they have a spider of a newer style Beanie Baby. I couldn't find him because he was upside down. And he's just black. Like, plain black upside down. But, I love Ingram. The next one is oh, Morticia the cat. I love Beanie Big Cats even though I'm a dog person in real life. I love the dogs too, but the Beanie Big Cats are just really cute. I've always loved them, especially the leopards. Um... I need to, well, I don't need to zoom out. I can just do this. Um, she's a black cat with mm, silvery white sparkles all over her. And she has a fluffy orange, I forgot the word for orange for a second, but a fluffy orange thing around her neck like Yips does, except orange. And also a fluffy orange tail with the same fabric. She has really smooth fur, which is how she's able to be sparkly. <laughs> well, sometimes the fluffier beanie boos like Snowfall have sparkles too, but yeah. Inside her ears is white, kind of a nature green, except it looks a bit more tan on camera, and orange stripes in her ears. That are really glittery. She has orange eyes, an orange nose, orange whiskers, an orange mouth. And she actually has sparkles on her snout too. And yeah. Um, she has another original name. Morticia. Her tag says, Morticia, if you believe in magic, a black cat isn't tragic. There's no need for alarm. I'll be our good luck charm. And her birthday is October 20th. And like the colors in the ears for me make her mm, seem more like just a fall beanie boos and entirely Halloween-y. I don't really know why. Um, but yeah, 
she's really cute in real life. At first, I didn't like her too much on her stock image, but in real life, she looks better. And the last one. Oh, Oleander! Oleander is probably one of my favorite Beanie Boos. I love them so much. Um, and if you see me squishing Beanie Boos heads a bit, it's just to, um, mm, kind of, I don't know. I mean, if their face isn't exactly perfect and stuff, sometimes I kind of smush their heads around to make them look a tiny bit better. Not that this one isn't cute, though. But he's just this really black cat with, um, I don't know why I keep saying, um, white airbrushing around his eyes. He has an orange nose, orange mouth, orange whiskers, and white fangs. He's the first Beanie Boo cat with fangs. Green eyes, green sparkly inside ears, and he's really soft, like the fabric a lot of Beanie Boos have for their snoots, I mean snouts. Um, and on the backs of his ears, it feels like... Um, um, the fabric is a bit different. It might just be a bit softer there, though. Mm, I don't know. And he has a fluffy white... I mean, not white. Black. <laughs> I think I forgot how to talk today somehow. <laughs> a fluffy black. Scruffy. I mean, not scruffy. Fluffy thing around his neck with white little puffs. And the same fabric for his really floofy tail and his tag says oleander if a black cat passes by quickly it'll catch your eye i see you looking at me curious if i'm lucky and his birthday is october 21st one day after morticia's here they are next to each other um, ever since I first saw these ones, I thought they would be, like, brother and sister, and, yeah. Um, and they are so cute together. My favorite is definitely Oleander. Um, and yeah, <laughs> if the comments are on, let me know which one your favorite is, and if you have any of these yet, or if you've ordered them. Mm. Um, oh, I also got a few other Beanie Boos today. I got Mary the Lamb. Um, a duplicate of Sophie the cat, a duplicate of Zoe the zebra, and a duplicate of Spells of the Owl from Goodwill, but I don't remember where I put them. So, I can't really show them here right now. So, that's it for this video. Bye!